Is that pain in your lower back getting to the point where it's holding you back? Joining us now is Dr. John Aldridge, an orthopedic physician with Hampton Roads Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. He's here now to tell us about SI joint pain and how he can help treat it. Dr. Aldridge, welcome to the Hampton Roads Show. So what is SI joint pain and what does it feel like? Well, SI joint pain is, is one a very common uh, cause of uh, back pain. It's probably one of the most undiagnosed uh, conditions out there. Um, it's the, the joint that's at the bottom of the pelvis, sort mm -hmm. of where the spine meets the pelvis in this area. Uh, it's very common for people who have had uh, trauma, uh, people with post-pregnancy, uh, and the most common uh, cause is people have had spinal fusions in the past that have failed and still continue to cause pain. So how does a, a person uh, with lower back pain know that their pain is generated from the SI joint? The number one uh, way to know is to go to, to their orthopedic surgeon and get mm -hmm. diagnosed. Most people, though, they can feel the pain sort of off the back side of their, their spinal area, and it's sort of a pinpoint area that they can feel, sort of we feel that bony prominence back there. Uh, how is it diagnosed, and what's the procedure like? The, the diagnosis for SI joint pain? Yeah. Usually we use a clinical exam uh, with some maneuvers where we try and stress the joint. Uh, we also use a, a numbing shot, uh, sort of like Novocaine you get from the dentist, to try and numb up the joint to see if the pain goes away. Um, and the treatment for it typically is initially physical therapy uh, and cortisone injections. Uh, for people who fail that, in the past there wasn't really a good solution. Uh, this new procedure has been out for about a year, year and a half, uh, where we pin the bones together. It has worked very well for uh, people who don't respond to the conservative care. How many people have to go that route where they have the surgery? Uh, I would say for people who have SI joint problems, probably it's about half the patients end up with surgery at some point for the SI joint problem. Uh, if you look at who gets that, you know, for spinal fusions, which is the most common cause for it, probably about 20 to 30 percent of people fail their spinal fusion surgery, and probably about 30, 40 percent of those patients, it's because of the SI joint. Now, Dr. Aldridge, you, show, you can show us here on this model what you do when you actually do the surgery. Tell me about that. Correct. So the SI joint is where the, the uh, pelvis meets the spine. This is the sacrum, which is the bottom part of the spine. So when you have extra stress from fusions or arthritis, it puts more stress on that joint. So what we do is stabilize the joint by putting two or three of these pins across the sacroiliac joint to stabilize it and make them grow together. Tell me about any of the patients, uh, most of the patients that you've done this to, and what's it been like for them? How's the recovery, and what has the result been for them? So the majority of patients, once they get past the initial recovery period, mm -hmm. which is about six to eight weeks, uh, have been very happy. I think we have a 95% success rate in terms of people would do the procedure again. Uh, so it will uh, take away the pain from the SI joint, but they have pain from other areas. Uh, it may continue to have some discomfort from those other, other areas. A lot of people just want to put it off because they're scared for surgery, but they're glad they do it in the, in the long run. Yeah, so like I said, about 95% would do it again. Uh, the procedure in our center takes about 20 to 30 minutes to perform, so it's not mm -hmm. a very long or lengthy procedure. Okay, you have a, a community lecture coming up. Tell me about that. It's on September 30th. It's at the Bon Secours uh, Learning Center at Mary Uh I believe it's at about 6.30. So anybody who's, who's, who's suffering from some back pain might want to come and listen? Correct. If you have uh, back pain that has been, uh, you've had surgery and you failed it, it's a good idea to come and see if you have SI joint problems. Once again, that uh, free community lecture, suffering from unresolved lower back pain is Tuesday, September 30th, 630 at Mary Immaculate Hospital Health Resource Center. Space is limited. Call 873-1554 to register. Okay, so someone out there is listening right now. Their back is hurting. Uh, what can you tell them? because most people don't want to have surgery. There might be some other things they can do. Right. I would say the majority of patients don't have surgery for back pain. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a transient thing, which means it comes and goes. Uh, it can be uh, uh, sort of settled down with just some physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, or the worst case, a shot. I'd say probably less than 1% or 2% of people with back pain end up with surgery. But if they do, you highly recommend this? For this particular problem. Yes. The, the results will be good. If you need more information, you can contact Dr. John Aldridge at Hampton Roads Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Give them a call, 873-1554, or if you'd like to go online to find more information, you can do that at hrosm.com. Dr. Aldridge, thank you for joining us today on the Hampton Roads Show. Thank you. Appreciate it.